How's everybody doing today? Um, I recently watched, uh, last night I should say, watched the new film Playing for Keeps. This stars Gerard, Gerard Butler, uh, Jessica Biel, and a whole bunch of other people. I think the one chick from The Descendants is in the movie, I'm not sure, she's like a side character. Uh, but this film surrounds uh, Gerard Butler and he uh, he's a past soccer player. So, he has a son, and he's getting divorced, with, well, he already is divorced to his wife, or his ex-wife, I should say. So, he's moving out, and he uh, sees that his kid is on the soccer team, and he wants to, I don't think he wants to give up his soccer, uh, basically his soccer life. So, what he does is he starts showing the kids how to play soccer, so everybody wants him to teach the team now, he want, or coach the team. Everybody wants uh, Gerard, Gerard Butler... <laughs> Gerard Butler's character to um, to coach the soccer team, so he actually does, and a whole bunch of other stuff goes on after this, which is uh, pretty interesting. The problem with this movie is there's a bunch of crazy things that happen, and they're very pointless. This film has a lot of boring and pointless moments to it, but it does have some heart. This movie does have some heart to it, which I did enjoy uh, the film. I did enjoy the movie, no doubt about it. Uh... To tell you the truth, I thought this movie was going to be maybe worse, because just by the TV ads, I was like, ah, I'll see it just to review it, but I have no idea how it's going to be. But when I saw the movie, I was like, yeah, it's better than I thought it was going to be. So uh, with, I thought about it for a little bit, so I decided to give Playing for Keeps 3.5 out of 5 stars, uh, just because, I mean, the acting in the movie is, is fine, you know, the... I don't know who does the score, but the acting is fine. The directing, uh, I thought was fine for the most part. Everything was fine in the movie. Just it was kind of slow at parts. A bunch of parts in the movie slow, and a lot of pointless things happen, which you really don't care about. Uh, like something happens for two minutes, and then two minutes later it's over, and it's just like, okay, well, whatever. We're not going to see this guy again. Uh, that was pointless, you know? But, uh, whatever. I liked the movie. It was alright. So I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching this review for Playing for Keeps. And uh, I do still have to review, uh, now I'm done with the Star Wars tri uh, original trilogy, or prequels I should say. So now I have to review the original trilogy, uh, New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, and The Return of the Jedi. I also have to review the video game Kingdom Hearts 2, which I have reviewed the first film. But now I have to review the, or I shouldn't say film the first game, now I have to review the second game. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this uh, movie review for Playing for Keeps. Over and out.